All right, everybody. Well, uh, uh, Musa Kim Saeed sent me a comment, said, make video how to download paint.net. So here you go. Here's that video. First, you're going to open a new tab and you're going to say download paint.net free or download paint.net. The website should be getpaint.net. You don't actually go to paint.net, which is confusing for a lot of people. Um, so I'm going to go there. You need to pay attention here because there are lots of clicky buttons, but you don't want to click on all those. You want to get to over here where it says get it now free download. It's an underlined link. It says paint.net in the current version. This is as of September 12th, 2020. Okay, there's another big button there and it, you have to scroll down where it says download. It's going to take you to one more screen. This is the paid version to get it on Windows 10. So you could do that or you can get the free version also for Windows 10, which is what I'm going to do. And then there's another big button here and a bunch of writing, but it says download, click over to the right. So make sure to go over to the right at this link. Click that. It's going to download. I'm going to save it to my, uh, my downloads. You'll see that I've already done this several times because I had problems making the video. Yep, the good news is you're getting a faster video. And there's my download. I'll give it a second to download. Okay, when that's finished downloading, you can um, show the folder. Folder will pop open. I'm going to double click on that folder or you can click on it and it will go to this screen here. This is the extraction window, which will unzip. So I'm going to say extract all and I'm just going to let it put it right where it wants to in the downloads. It's going to extract that file. And then there's the paint.net 4.2.13 install. It's an application and we're going to open that. And once that's done installing, you're going to, uh, well, it's opening the installer. You have the choice of express or custom. If you know custom options you want, go ahead and do that. You can also change the language. I'm not going to change the language. It'll confuse me. So I'm going to go to next and then I'm going to go to, I agree to this license and then next. And then I'm going to pause while this, uh, removes the previous version and by the way it will keep your plugins so that's that's really nice if you've installed a bunch of plugins so that process i paused the video it took about a minute so it says it takes about a minute to um, set it up and it does uh, for me anyway on my computer uh, and then you can have the check mark for start paint.net say finish and it should open paint.net and there you go Hopefully that was helpful. And hopefully this is not too scary looking. Yeah, it's kind of scary looking. So there you go, paint.net. It's a great tool. I have a ton of tutorials on my channel if you want to go check out more about how to use paint.net and how I use it with Pivot if you're into Pivot. All right, have a great day and I hope that was helpful.